I spoke in the run-up to the elections of the ridiculous, absurd mainstream media narrative that they sort of whip up. Uh, even the BBC is saying, that, trying to explain why people should care about curtains in Downing Street. Absolutely ridiculous. And I think what you're seeing now is, as I put out on Twitter earlier today amid early election results, election tells us a lot about waning TV influence. We saw some endlessly try and dictate to the public why they should care about Westminster wallpaper. Coverage was relentless, had absolutely no effect. Now, I did get someone come back to me and say, or, you know, always happy to hear feedback on my, on my views. Nick Hoadley saying that he thought that was slightly wrong and that actually had the opposite effect and galvanised some support. Let me know what you make of that. Also, Chris P. Bacon, wonder if that's his real name. Uh, forget the wallpaper for a minute. When any other politician is on breakfast TV, they get a fair crap at putting their message across. A government minister goes on and they never get to finish an answer. The yearning for a gotcha moment is too much for the presenter to miss. And even the normally sensible Daily Mail, who I have a lot of time for, I think it's a great product, sort of slightly lost the plot when they said that Boris was somehow on the ropes. It was just a mainstream media bubble. One that Keir Starmer obviously lives in, uh, much to the Labour Party's detriment. And you'll see now uh, people like Kate Hurry noting, expect there is quite a lot of misery at BBC News today and amongst so many journalists that all their biased attacks and insinuations on Boris Johnson did not work. Criticism is one thing, but their derisory nasty tone has been rejected by the public. Time to end the licensee. And actually, this was something that I saw backfiring throughout the campaign, as I noted. Um, but it isn't just about the Hartlepool by-election. At time of recording, here are three. Here's a trilogy of real big conservative gains. First of all, you see in Dudley, plus 12 to 23. Labour down 11. Nun Eaton and Bedworth, you see. Conservatives up 9 to 15. Labour down 9 to 1. Harlow, uh, Conservatives up 7 to 12. Labour down 7 to 1. Here's the thing. Yet again, we see two things. Firstly, we see the media is out of kilter with public mood. Yet again, people simply haven't learned the lessons of Brexit and all the rest. They don't really understand the public mood. They're hopelessly out of touch. And especially when it comes to the likes of the BBC, I just think it's getting worse and worse, which is why you're seeing support fall away for the licence fee. And the second thing is this. The second thing is that the mainstream media, and I'm talking about TV news, their ability to shape and dominate the narrative and, and for the BBC and others to, fo to get voters to focus on what journalists think is important. That ability is fading away. It's fading away because of alternatives like YouTube and thanks so much to you, those watching this channel. But, you know, that, that power, they, their ability to influence the narrative, the pre-election narrative, you'll know, this all happening before elections, that is fading and they're losing that power. But I want to know from you guys, do these election results surprise you or not? What do you make? of the mainstream media's behaviour before this set of elections. Do let me know and as ever, please hit the big thumbs up button, we'd really appreciate that. And you can hit the join button to support my channel and get the patriotic new members badge next to your name. And of course, as ever, thanks so much for watching.